Most watchmen are content to stay behind a keyboard and fantasize about disappearing. But as we've discussed before, Mandy bet her life on this. She's burned bridges with family, friends, colleagues, and the church body. She's currently living a very expensive lifestyle of flying to California every few weeks. Her lifestyle is not sustainable, so she really, really needs to be raptured soon. To reward her for all the trouble, Mandy's Jesus has made some big promises to her. Thus, what started as a sweet little lamb in a beanie getting messages from the Lord has evolved into the most important woman in the world. Mandy's reward for being embarrassed as time ticks away. Psycho Jesus often does that to string along his victims when too much time is passing. The funny part is that back in January, Mandy once posted this in which she warned against delusional people making fantastic claims that go against the Bible. Okay, so when people are claiming to be God or Jesus, what does the, the Bible say? The Bible says that there will be many people claiming Christ. Do not go. Okay, what I'm speaking here is I'm never claiming that I am God or the Messiah or anything like that. I am speaking that I hear God and I, and I hear Jesus and he gives me words and scriptures. But when people are claiming that, run. Run fast. Yeah, the good old days when Mandy at least pretended to follow the Bible. After three failed rapture predictions and a public spat with her husband, Psycho Jesus had to up the ante with a better carrot on the stick. In early September, Mandy had her sex magic booty call during the Revelation 12 constellation, hoping to conceive some kind of well spawn. She said she was the Revelation 12 woman destined to birth the man-child. Her Jesus also told her to prophesy in a bikini so the message would go viral. That was a month ago, and it still sits with very low views. Then Mandy had an angry meltdown in public, which let us all know the outcome of the pregnancy plan. And then she reported people who made her feel bad. They reported her in retaliation, and her channel was suspended for some sort of violation. Yes, this whole thing has been quite the comedy of errors. She made a new channel to keep posting videos, and only 300 people cared enough to follow her again. The walls are closing in. Mandy couldn't wait anymore, so she resorted to symbolically giving birth to a spirit child or something. In a video she posted and quickly deleted, Mandy could be seen laying in bed acting out the process of labor. She twitched and moaned and yelped in pain as the contractions came over her with her squad of misfits looking on. Yes, that really happened. According to McKenna, they deleted the video because Jesus said it was meant to be viewed by those left behind. I have no idea why left behind people would want to watch six hours of a woman pretending to give birth to a non-existent baby, but we're talking about the misfits here, so anything goes. With that stunt over and still nothing to show for it, Mandy's next theory is that she could be secretly raptured in some kind of special pre-flight boarding. If Mandy and a few of her friends were to, you know, not be around anymore when the rest of us hadn't noticed any rapture event, it could be explained as a secret departure for the special elite. In this recent video, McKenna suggests exactly that. She says Mandy and the others are in a highly exclusive clique who will be given pre-boarding status. McKenna is prepared to leave behind her very young children and secretly disappear as soon as today. I'm not sharing this to boast or anything like that. I don't know why we were created for this. Um, all I know is that we are obedient to Jesus and we do everything that he says. And Jesus is created for this time chosen elders, 24 elders of the 12. 
the 12 couples, 24 elders, okay? I, I'm not trying to sound boastful at all because I do not like this. It's uncomfortable for me. I'm just being obedient. I feel the Holy Spirit on me strongly. So if we go up, if we go up tonight, then the bride and the children will go up tomorrow. What disturbs me about that video is how casual she sounds. If you as a parent knew that you were going to leave your small children in a matter of hours, you would probably be kind of emotional about it. Yet there's McKenna acting like it's just another Thursday. It's easy to say this is all entertainment, and in the case of most watchmen, as I said, you'd be right. But Mandy has followed through with her crazy schemes. McKenna and the others have proven they'll sit through six hours of a fake delivery while their own families are doing God knows what. If Mandy's Jesus told these people to drop off their children with a friend and go into the woods, I think they would really do it. Mandy and the misfits are fast approaching a crossroads. When the money runs out, the sex gets tiresome, and the nerves are on edge, they won't be able to keep this together. If you've ever wondered why they drunk the Kool-Aid in Jonestown, here's your answer. <laughs>